Hey guys, it's Bieber. So I am just kind of going over some stuff with this Maryland, Maryland. I believe that's how you pronounce her name, Maryland. That's how the reporter was pronouncing it. Carter, Maryland Carter. She's missing out of Kansas City. And um, I just wanted to throw this little video together. There have been a couple little developments, I guess you could say. I did come across this on Facebook. Um, this is from somebody who proclaims to be Marilyn's uh, sister. I don't know you, yet you have made many ugly assumptions about my family during the darkest times of our lives and have only helped in spreading de destructive misinformation about this investigation. My family has not accepted donations because we have been using our own personal funds thus far. Please stop spreading lies about the family, a family you don't even know. We are hurting beyond what we can bear, and I and we have been searching for Marilyn nonstop from the beginning. Maybe you should actually help us instead of constantly casting stones. So I thought this was interesting, and I gotta say, I don't know if this is her sister. I'm literally just diving into the Facebook stuff. I don't, I don't go to Facebook a lot, but I do to get some context for some stuff because, you know. Some stuff is happening, you know, some stuff is strange. Her husband, he did a um, plea to the public on Facebook um, asking for help or for uh, help with people to search for her in the Mississippi River. I have a uh, news clipping at the end of this and y'all can watch it and it gives you details. I thought something else was funny that um, initially they said she was going to seek mental health treatment. In, uh, in this report, and from what I'm seeing now, she was going to get treatment for sleeping because she couldn't sleep. I can relate to that because I have issues sleeping. And now it's that she was getting uh, help for her uh, sleep treatments and seeing her pregnant sister. So, uh, and, and it could be all of it, you know. So there's little bitty trinkets of stuff coming out. Her phone last pinged, which they're going to tell you about that in Memphis. I got news for her. She got lost in Memphis. You know, she may be up a world of trouble because it's not a pleasant place to be lost in. I'm from Memphis. But um, anyways, let's look at a couple other things, guys. On this midday, we are hearing from the husband of a missing Overland Park woman. Marilane Carter's disappearance has sparked a multi-state search. She is the wife of a Leewood pastor and mother of three children. Marilane's husband told us just a few minutes ago that a woman apparently helped Marilane get gas Monday morning about 30 miles from Memphis. Now, her family said that she left Saturday night to visit her parents in Birmingham, Alabama, and seek mental health treatment at a hospital where she used to work. She cares deeply about people, and so, um, I mean, she'll, she'd do anything for anybody and to help someone, and so uh, she's helped a lot of people over the years. She's helped me. Um, I'm, I'm forever indebted to her, and so I think this is a way that all of us can pay it forward to her because she's given so much to so many other people. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, this is just uh, uh, details. 36 years old, white female. She was in a uh, 2011 dark gray GMC Akita, Kansas Tag 194LFY. Last contact near Memphis on Sunday, Memphis, Tennessee. And Sunday, when this was released, would have been on the eight. Would would have been on the uh, second. So um, she was seeking mental health help. Or she was looking for her sister, visits in her pregnant sister, or she was getting sleep deprivation treatments. So, um, you know, in results of staying, she's still missing. She still has to be found. So, if you have any information, call 205-390-1003. Hashtag find Marilyn. So, guys, I mean... This has been, this is, you know, it's been over a week. Where is this mom? Where'd she go? You know, everybody in the South in these areas, take a look. You know, um, 
So I'm going to show these news clippings now, and it just tells a little bit more backstory. Uh, and, you know, that it shows a little bit about the husband. I'm not going to lie. You know, I'm not going to act like people aren't looking at this guy sideways. But let me explain something to you about grace. And if you're a believer, and if you're, you know, if you're a Christian, let me just be more specific. He's a Christian. He's a pastor. You know. His behavior may look strange. Him not falling apart may be odd. Um, these people may just have, you know, um, an overjoyous faith. What that means is that they're just, they just act as if, you know, they're dying inside. They put on a happy face and they push through. I'm hoping that this is what it is. You know, people are not saying kind things. And then, you know, the little rumor mill is spinning. But we don't, you know, this is facts and evidence. Fact is, she's missing. She needs to be found. That's, it's just that simple, guys. Let's take another good look at Marilyn. And we just pray for her family. And we pray that she's returned safely. And that they get answers. And uh, I'm fixing to show this news clip. And it's a couple days old. But, you know, just give y'all a little context about what's going on. And where they think she may have ended up. But anyways, guys, have a good one, and we'll be watching this one closely. Now to the search for a missing Kansas mother who disappeared on a drive through Memphis more than a week ago. Tonight, a new search effort is starting to take shape online. WMC Action News 5's Janice Broach joins us live with the latest on this developing story. Janice? <laughs> Well, Joe, the family of Mary Lane Carter spent days searching in the Memphis area, hoping to either find her or clues that would lead to her. Now they are making a plea for a search of the Mississippi River. Hi, everyone. This is Adam Carter, uh, husband of Mary Lane Carter, who's been missing for a week. A new message from the family of a Kansas woman who vanished while driving through the Mid-South. We need volunteers to help us search the river right around the I-55 uh, bridge there in Memphis. We need people who have a boat and, a ver and very good so sonars and experience navigating the Mississippi River. A plea from her husband as volunteers hope to organize a search of the last place Marilyn's cell phone was detected. Her parents told us she started driving from near Kansas City, heading for Birmingham where she could see her pregnant sister and get treatments for problems sleeping. There is security video of her checking into a Quality Inn in Missouri several hours after she left. Credit card statements show she got gas in West Memphis. Relatives stayed in touch with her during the drive until the phone went dead on the Arkansas side of the I-55 bridge. Her mother said she mentioned being lost. Her family searched all over the area below the bridge last week. Now they want to rule out the worst case scenario that her car somehow went into the river. The Coast Guard might do a search like that. In a statement, the Coast Guard said it is aware of the missing woman, but likely would not search without evidence a person or vehicle went into the river. Adam Carter is a pastor in Overland Park, Kansas, where friends have set up a Facebook page called Finding Merrill Lane in a desperate attempt to find her. He hopes a search on the river can provide answers. Our three kids uh, miss her. Um, I miss her. We want to have her home.